Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Down to Earth episode 179 to 180. Whew, let's go ahead and get started. I just had my seafood boil and I'm so full so I'm gonna be breathing kind of heavy. I'll, I'll try not to. This is your fault. Isn't it? Uh. Ooh. He is snatching stays up you're gonna tell me everything ha well, that happened right now C Cade this isn't the time to argue it's fine I I'll tell my side I'd heard her birthday was soon I decided to treat her to dinner we were on the roof her head began to began to hurt she started turning into something I was shocked and fell off the roof she used like superpowers or something some shit. She saved me. Then out of nowhere, she gets freaked out and flies off into the sky. What? Changing. What do you mean by that? And there has to be a reason she flew off. What did you say? I... I don't remember. How do you not remember? Remember now! Cade. This isn't helping our situation. We don't need to waste any more time. We must find Zeta. Ugh. This is your fault. I know it is. You're helping us find her. And you will find her. Ugh. Okay. I am low on energy. I need to land somewhere quickly. I did not see any active lights. I should be here alone. <sighs> what are you? She looks kind of terrified. Hey. Hey, you. <gasps> what are you doing here? Me and my friends seen you in here before. Why do you never come out and play? <sighs> you will get in trouble. Leave before they see you. I waited for them to leave. No one's out here but me. Why do they keep you locked up? Do you want to stay inside all day? My family says I am not allowed out. They say it is too dangerous for me because I am different. You do not look any different to me. Huh? What are you? Zeta. Huh? What have I said about speaking to the outsiders? Forgive me, Zara. Please, spare the outsider. Please spare the outsider. Was that enough to prove my point? The outsider found you horrifying. <sighs> my precious Seda, do you not understand? Do you understand now? The crown that annually groans upon your head. You are the only Zodian with such an oddity. While it gives you great power, our family may suffer its consequences. If this becomes knowledge to outsiders, our family would be in grave danger. You must remain hidden during the crown's lifespan. Do you understand? Do you understand? Huh? I understand. Remember, if it were not, were not for me, you would be alone. gets darker and darker. <sighs> Poor Zeta. Oh, my back is hurting. God, I guess. <sighs> We've been searching all night. 
The sun's rising now. Maybe we should take a break? Well, I'm worried. I do think we've been at this for too long. We should get rest and try again later. Who knows? Maybe she'll turn up on her own. To my place, or Cade's. And you guys tried her cell? For the sixth time, yes. I tried several times. Alright, then. I guess we'll get some rest for now. Everyone, meet back here when you're ready. <sighs> Susie, if Zay returns home, let me know as soon as possible. I will. Same to you, if she comes here. Okay. We'll talk later. <gasps> Are you the Tooth Fairy? Uh Oh, ow, ow. Huh? Hmm? It's okay. I have a whole box full of them. I... I am confused. Shouldn't you be afraid of me? Look at what is on my head. It's really weird. But you haven't been mean to me. And it's because you're the Tooth Fairy, right? T tooth Fairy? Yes, I am the Tooth Fairy. Wow, how cool! You must not tell anyone you saw me. If you tell someone, you could get in trouble. I won't tell anyone. My mom told me you didn't exist. She doesn't believe in you. But I still did. I knew you were real. <laughs> yes, well, I have important tooth fairy things to do. <laughs> Wait, before you leave... I held onto this tooth just in case I met you one day. You don't have to give me money for it. It's a gift. I also want to tell you, you are the most beautiful fairy I've ever seen. Oh. Kimberly! Oh, that's my mom. We're... We're about to leave, sweetie. Come out of the playhouse. Okay, mom. Just a second. Huh? So when Stace saw me, he was shocked. But the little earthling just now, she said I looked beautiful? So which is it? What would the majority of earthlings think? Although, she thought I was someone else. That's the only reason. And I guess I look like something that her mom can't believe in. Probably because it looks so horrifying. It's not Huh? Huh? Oh. That creature is so pretty. Huh? That was a really quick read, actually. Oh, poor Zeta. Honestly... Cade getting mad at Stace, it makes sense, you know. Like, I would be pissed off too. Like, what on earth did you do? What did you say? Why? Why did Zeta run away? It's frustrating. It's like to lose a whole person, you know, like an adult who is capable of just going anywhere, fly anywhere. I would be so worried. Like, you know, like, what's gonna, what's gonna happen? If she is, if she gets caught by the wrong people, like, she's gone, you know? Like, that's terrifying. So I understand why Cade, Cade is so worried and so angry. And honestly, I'm glad that she, he is surrounded by people who can level him and, like, tell him to, like, hey, chill. Because if there's no one there to tell him that, he would have pummeled Stace to the pole, you know? Just grab him, just, you know? Um, I might use the wrong word for that. But yeah, <laughs> But for Seda, for her to go through that, to experience the bad side of people reacting to her negative, to 
the sweet and innocent side, it gives her a different perspective. Like, hey, not everyone's going to find you repulsive. But she's like, well, you know, the only reason why this girl's not scared of me is because she thought I was, you know, a tooth fairy. But I feel like it'll be okay. I feel like we'll be able to co exists with her you know like if, if aliens were ever a real like ever on earth and we find out and they look different from us i don't i personally would not be offended or grossed out or horrified by it i'm like that's cool you know i mean there's a lot of humans who are, keep on changing themselves or go by different titles and yeah like i don't look at them any different like, am I into that? No, but I still respect you for who you are, you know, what you're into. I respect you, just don't push it onto me, <laughs> you know? Um, same with same with religion, people's, how, what kind of, you know, what is like, he, she, it, or whatever um, title they want to go by to what they're into. And, you know, it's just like, it's none of our business. <laughs> Just respect each other and just don't force your perspective onto others and just exist and live life and be happy. Anyways, enough of my ramblings. If you guys enjoyed the way I read this, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!